Hey guys, so today I'll be showing you how I achieve my pink spotlight eye using the Water Spice Collection. So what I'm doing here first is I'm taking my 6SS brush and my True Room 4 eyeshadow and I'm just buffing that shadow all onto my lid and into the crease. So this will act as my transition colour. So what I'm doing now, I'm just using the same 6SS brush and a different shadow. So this time I'm using True Room 1. It's a little bit more pinky toned. So it'll go well underneath all the other pinks that we're using. So I'm just buffing that all over the True Room 4 that I used previously. I'm now taking my 29PR brush and the first shadow of the Water Spice Collection, which is 296, and I'm just patting that all onto the eyelid. So it's a really nice hot pink. So I'm now just going back in with the 6SS brush once again and the same 296 shadow, and I'm just buffing all the colours together just to ensure that there's no harsh lines. Go back in again with the 29PO. And the trio one shadow this time, so it's another shadow from the Water Spice collection, and it's a gorgeous burgundy. So once I'm happy with the burgundy, I'm gonna go in with trio five, which is the darkest brown from the Water Spice collection, and I'm gonna blend all that out with a 10s brush. So I'm going back in with 6SS once again and I'm just using that to ensure that the brown isn't too harsh and it's blending into the burgundy nicely. So for underneath my eyes I'm focusing the darkest colours really close to the lash line. So that's the trio of 1 and trio of 5 shadows on my 10S brush. And to blend the two out I'll be using my 6SS brush and 296 and 3 of 1 1 shadows. So to deepen the look even more, I'm using my 13P brush and my 308 shadow, which is a really nice dark purple. And I'm just focusing that right onto the lid. And then I'm going to go back in into the lower lash line and I'm using my 74 gel liner and a 30T brush. This gel liner is gorgeous, it's a really nice dark purple once again. And I'm blending that right into the lash line so I'm not leaving any white gaps. So as a base for glitter, I like to use the eyeshadow keeper and my 22T brush. So I'm just kind of focusing that onto the center and I don't have too much on my brush so then I can blend it easily into the shadow. So for the glitter I'm going to use the 46 and 47 body sparkles which are a part of our new Star New collection. Um, I'm focusing that towards the center and then if there's any harsh edges I'm just going to blend it all away with my tennis brush and a bit of that trio eight shadow. So here I'm just using false lash effect mascara on a clean mascara wand. So I'm now just going to apply my 14 end lashes using latex free geoglue. To blend that purple liner in a little bit more, I'm just going back in with my 13P and the Trio White Shadow and I'm just smudging that into my lash line. And then for the inner corners, I'm using my tennis brush and 54 Body Sparkles. 